This session is on Lewis structures and we're going to call it basics one slash formal charge. The molecule that we're going to work with is a common substance, bleach. It's called hypochlorous acid. We used to, most books were listed as HClO. And we're going to, what we're going to do is assess its structure. Now, Lewis structures do just that. They show the relationships of the atoms to each other. And ostensibly, well, that looks, you could say that's pretty simple. There's one atom of each. But they could be arranged in the, the several combinations. So the first rule for the uh, Lewis structure determination is to count the valence electrons. So we will count the valence electrons. Hydrogen has one. Chlorine has seven. It's group seven. Oxygen has six. And we're going to add these together. And we come up with 14 electrons. The next thing we do is it says assign, uh, Lewis said, assign the more the least electronegative element is a central atom. Well, right away we're going to have a problem here because of the electronegativities, if you could look these up, hydrogen would be least electronegative, and then you put chlorine on either side of it, and chlorine on one side and oxygen the other. The third rule is to assign a minimum of one bond between the atoms. Where we put one bond here and one bond here. The rest of the electrons then have to be assigned around the outer side. So 14 minus 2 and 2 is 4 electrons. Uh, so we have 10 electrons to assign. Okay, so we go 2, 4, 6, and that's an octet. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Well, we've got an interesting problem right off the bat here. This is an octet, but how many electrons are around hydrogen? Four, and all it can have is two. So this structure is not valid. So now we're going to look at the other two possibilities. They are H. C L O or H O C L. Okay, number one. Uh, assign the valence electrons or count the valence electrons. You have 14. Second rule is subtract the electrons involved with a minimum bond. Okay, a bond here and a bond here, or a bond here and here. That's a possibility. Now, the third rule is assign the unused electrons, which is 10. You start with the outer atom. Well, the outer atom here is oxygen. So it's 2, 4, 6. And then we add the rest of the electrons to the central atom, 6, 8. 10. This is hydrogen has two electrons. That's its noble gas configuration. Chlorine has one, two, three, four, five, six, for two for a bond, seven, eight. Oxygen has six and two is eight. So this is all right in terms of electrons and having these octets. Well, we could do the same thing over here. We have two, four, six, eight. 10, and we have octets here. So which one of these structures is correct? Well, we have to introduce the concept of formal charge. Formal charge is a great concept. It is it's a, you know, a little different than oxidation number. Oxidation number assumes that between chlorine and oxygen here, the more electronegative element gets the electron completely when you sign a uh, charge or an oxidation number of plus one or minus one getting the electron chlorine would be minus Ox uh, formal charge is different it assumes that electronegativity doesn't exist it assumes that all bonds 
the electrons are shared equally. Hear that? Equally between the two atoms. So, with that in mind, we're going to use the technique of formal charge. And we're going to assign values here. So, hydrogen has one valence electron and one half of the electrons assigned to hydrogen is used. So, one minus one, the formal charge is zero. That means there's no additional positive or negative value here, like an oxidation number. See, it's one electron, and it has one electron used, so that's, that's zero. Chlorine here has seven valence electrons. So let's count the ones that end up in the structure. One, two, three, four, owns them outright. Then half of this, that's four, five, six. Ah, it is deficient one electron now. See, it had seven. Now, in the bonding structure we're proposing, it only has six. Oxygen has six valence electrons to start with, two, four, six, and one in the bond, minus one. Over here, hydrogen has zero again. But now, let's, let's look at, we'll pick chlorine. You can start either one. Chlorine has seven. We subtract the electrons that are now after the bond. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus half of that, seven. So this has a formal charge of zero. It starts with seven and ends up with seven. Oxygen starts with six and ends up with one, two, three, four, half of that, five, half of that, six, six, zero. So the rule is, in formal charge, when you can draw more than one Lewis structure, the one that has the least number of Oxidate, or at least number of formal charges, or the lowest number of formal charges is preferred. So the rule, we'll say number one, the lowest number of formal charges is preferred. Preferred, accepted, or plus, what's what we want. The second rule is, the any formal charge should follow the electronegativity of the, of the atom, not the molecule of the atom. So the more electronegative element should be minus, if there is. So here, the lowest number is this, so you can see this is already the preferred structure. But let's look at the second rule. The more electronegative element between chlorine and oxygen is oxygen. It is minus one, two, four, six, seven. And chlorine is six plus one. So that's all right, but the lowest number goes to this rule. So the preferred structure is for hypochlorous acid, and the books write them, they don't write them this way. It should be H-O-C-L. And if you want some additional experience with this, I would go back to revisit oxidation number, and uh, I think we'll just stop right there.